Was the night before life day in a galaxy far, far away. Looking good. Tree, food, decorations. Coming together, heroes were to celebrate the day. Please be a cape. Please be a cape. It's a wrap! For Ray, adventure called, and she thought it would be fast. Wow. But there she found a key to the galaxy's past. Sorry, ah! sorry. Oh, oh, Marcelo, what are you doing? Hi, Anthony. I'm Berta from E Cartelera, Spain. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am very proud. Look, my book, can you see? So yes. Sencillo, La historia desde dentro. Can you say, for, say it in Spanish for me? La historia desde dentro. And how do you say soy C3PO? <laughs> soy C3PO. <laughs> C3PO. Gracias. Um, muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so, Anthony, uh, this uh, Christmas special is not the first one in the Star Wars saga. We already watched one in the 70s. I was wondering if this new one has anything to do with that one. <laughs> I am happy to say nothing at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know that the first one is in like the Chamber of Horrors. That it was, it was a program that went a little crazy. Now, a lot of people think it is so bad that it is good, okay? Me, I just think it was so bad. <laughs> But this one, so this one, apart from the big connection is Life Day. Because as you know, on Life Day, Wookiees around the galaxy try to get back to their home planet of Kashyyyk, where they can celebrate this celebration of life. Uh, other people have Hanukkah or Christmas or Diwali or something. Wookiees have Life Day. Oh, yes. And they try to get home to be with mom and dad and, and the cousins and all that kind of thing. And this time it is the same, but this time it's in Lego. And you can see behind me, my favorite Star Wars gift, remembrance, is my big Lego C-3PO. So I'm, I'm quite into Lego. But I don't play with it, but I enjoy it. So, of course, C-3PO is a part of uh, that life day because he's uh, one of the members of this huge family because Star Wars is about family. And uh, C-3PO, it's been a part of that family for more than 40 years. So I was wondering what's the best thing about playing a character for 40 years and what's the worst thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, the worst thing is uh, his voice. Um, I am C-3PO. It's actually quite uh, hard physically to do because he is very tense. He's very unrelaxed. And so, uh, you know, pr producing that voice in my throat and so on on my uh, chest is if you do it for very long, it becomes very tiring. The best thing is that I can still do that voice after all these years and, you know, still be there in all sorts of places like Star Tours and the adventures continue in Disneyland and all sorts of cartoons. And of course, this one, um, the best thing is to have this character I love exist in my realm, that he's a good friend of mine. I don't want to be with him all the time, but, you know, on the whole, my life is much better for knowing him. And I think quite a few fans out there would would feel the same. And so it is great that he is there, even though he's not alive, because he's a machine, we have to remember, um, he is part of Life Day. This special is a lot about uh, laughing with Star Wars. And I was wondering if you think it's going to conquer those that think about Star Wars in a most serious way, you know, that takes Star Wars really seriously. <laughs> yes, uh, it's a very good question. Sometimes when people take a subject seriously, they lose their, their humor, their, uh, they, they think too much about it. Star Wars is a wonderful story, and it's a story we love so much that we can now, through the power of Lego, we can tease it, we can poke fun at it. Um, 
we can be funny about it because we love the basic story so much. It gives us the ability to relax and, and just laugh. And I think even people who really take things seriously, the dark side, the, um, the fight you know, against the empire, they can take this holiday season to just relax and say, that was kind of funny. Then they can go back to uh, worrying about the emperor and so on. Thank you so much, Anthony. It's been a pleasure. It's a real thank you. And thank you for the language lesson. Adios. Unta, unta, solos? You want to shoot first? After you. Yeah.